Artlist.io Test, test. All right.
All right, we're getting ready here. Welcome to day three of the 2024 Cactus Cup held here in sunny Mesa, 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 Arizona. My name is Kate Silver. I'm mm, what you say, Jay. What you say, mm, what you say. That's the one, yes. Yes. <laughs> we are excited to bring you here game number 14 on our last day. An exciting matchup between the home team, Arizona Roller Derby All-Stars, and the Santa Cruz Bombshells. We are excited to tell you how they got here. First off, on day one, Santa Cruz beat Team Montana in game three. Arizona then took a close game against Rat City, 162 to 155. Santa Cruz then fell to Angel City, 179 to 50. And then Arizona fell to Rose City, 365 to 20. Arizona made a comeback 126 to 81 against Team Montana and Santa Cruz took the day with Rat City of the last game of yesterday. So we're excited to get you here in the first of the last three games of the day. First, we want to introduce you the Santa Cruz Bombshells. Number 0018, Jem Jones. 086, Zoe Trope. 1-0, Noah Fantastica. 1-3, Lil Killa. 2-4, Harley Sin. 2-6, Amanda Conda. 3, Ace Ventura. 3-6, Harmony Danger. Number 4, The Captain, Mad for Gravy. 4-1, Queen Litigious. 4-4-2, four, four, Cyanide Siren. 6-2, Tryon. 6-2-6, six, six, Maddie Masochist. 6-6-6, six, 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 Merciless Martinez. And 9, Flower Power. All right, and get ready to say hello to your home team, the Arizona Roller Derby All-Stars. Give it up for number 024, Cuddy. Number 10, Frida. Number 22, Mercedes. Number 24, I'm a blow by ya. Number 31, Two by Force. Number 313, West Coast Mafia. Number 3381, Helen Naughty. Number 38, Colette Razorcat. Number 4, Sure Man. Number 41, Julia Jane. Number 4-4, four, four, Cherry Kiss. Number 7, your captain, Skatey Katie. Number 88, Ms. Murder. Number 9, Jess West. And number 95, Lightning the Queen. Quick shout out to our officials for this tournament, NSO's Tara Bite, Talia Up, Wizard of Laws, Fickle Bitch, Rose Lambo, W.E.B. Destroys, Millie Dread, Emma Gold Mangle, Amy Farrell Fowler, Mortal Kombat, your skating officials, Smush Mask, Carmen Dragon, Ninja, Illinois, Hate Bit, Umpire Strikes Back, and RDFM. All right, and our teams are already on the track, getting ready to go. We're on the line, we got Tryon up against Frida, and that five seconds means we're ready to do it. All 100 wheels on the track, some huge Offense there by Skatey Kitty in the front. Ooh, almost by on the inside line, getting bumped out, recycled to the back there. As Frida, ooh. Oh, yes, Frida pulls out of the pack, picks up that lead position. Oh, that's trying, trying out oh. first. Oh, I'm so sorry, trying. Frida now through, trying out on a scoring pass. Finds that inside line, some great offense there by uh, Lil Killa and four big points. Lil Killa's having it, having a time, excited about it. 4-0 on the board. First blood, first blood Santa Cruz. Got a shout out in the chat from Damn Thick. So many Rat City officials love to see it. We're starting off with one each in the box over there. Little thin on the track, but no pack advantage. That is Zoe Trope and Helen Naughty on the jam line. Some confusion here where looks like Helen Naughty was maybe not the jammer. Zoe Trope out first. Oh, I think it's possible. Oh, okay. So Helen Naughty getting a penalty. Zoe Trope already threw, does a little bean dip. Arizona already in trouble. Ducks under. I'm a blow by ya. 
Yeah, Arizona looking a little thin on the track out there. Just two blockers left. Ooh. A little bit of penalty confusion. Zoe Chirp already out round for a second scoring pass. So, Helly Nadi released from the box. So is Shoreman. Helenati now working on that initial. Sherman coming in to play the interference. Helenati finding some room on that outside and getting through. Beautiful. Zoe Trope coming through, looks for the bench, calls it off. So really quick already. Santa Cruz jumping ahead, 16 points to nil. A little bit of confusion and penalty trouble really putting the home team on the back foot. It's always nice to come in with a with a blocker at the same time as a jammer and sort of come in with that built-in offense, getting back on the track together. Yeah, absolutely. Mamasin in the chat going, I love Killa, another aged up junior. That is a big story here for the Santa Cruz team. Lots of aged up juniors. We got Amanda Connor jamming for Woo! Santa Cruz and Cherry Kiss jamming for Arizona. Cherry Kiss doing a great job finding some room on the inside. Just does a little bit of a dance. First lead of the game for the home team. Santa Cruz up against this solid uh, Arizona line there, but they're going to break away, head back, help out the jam a little bit. Uh-oh, we got two Arizona blockers headed to the, to the penalty box. Great job there by number nine. That's Jess West for Arizona, playing that quick offense. However, it was in the improper direction, but it, that did release Cherry Kiss and able to put four points on the board. First points on the board for Arizona. Arizona starting with two blockers of the box, including their pivot. So pack advantage here for Santa Cruz. On the line now, we got uh, West Coast Mafia going up against Queen Lachigis. West Coast Mafia, lead jam for Arizona. Queen Lachigis trying to find some room on the outside, gets dipped to the out by Ima Blobaya. Queen Lachigis taking the star off, rolls around the backside of Mercedes, gets out. Meanwhile, West Coast Mafia trying to find some room on the outside, gets knocked to the out by McCoy. AKA Ace Ventura calls it off four in the sky for Arizona. Arizona would love to give a shout out to our sponsors. Uh, I don't have the correct reads, but I know that Stout Roofing was one of them. If you need a roof done, go to Stout. As uh, someone that deals with a leaky roof a lot, I know a lot about roofing. Go to Stout. Honestly, I think that was that improv was probably better than whatever the read was. You know, I'm just out here writing sponsor reads. Oh yeah. Trying back on a line now. And gets out first. Lead jammer for Santa Cruz. Star pass now to Jess West. Trying now approaching the pack. Gets a go in the back. Ooh. One, two. Interference being paid by Little Kill. Calls it off two in the sky for Santa Cruz. Really quick jam. Uh, someone in the chat asking, uh, is Arizona wearing black? Yes. Yes, they are. And then we've all got it's Mi we've also got It's Missy Twitch, all caps. Let's go, Kate Silver, announcing. That's Missy Misdemeanor, a.k.a. Egg Squirt. <laughs> We've got a nice, clear penalty box over there. You do love to see it. Helenati back on that line, up against, oh, Zoe Trope, oh, huge hit there by, you know, Zion Lobaya. Who else, honestly? Helenati, chest to chest with Harley Sin. Harley Sin doing the yeoman's work, holding that line, Lee Jam, Helenati. Zoe Trope now looking chest to chest, does a dip. Helenati now on a scoring pass. Full complement of Santa Cruz blockers in the back. Knocked out there by Noah Fantastica and Harley Sin. Two up in the sky for Arizona. Score so far 10 to 18. Uh, eight minutes in, uh, kind of already a bit of a nail biter. What do you think about that, AJ? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I, I anticipate this is not going to be a runaway for either team. I think we're going to see this game stay pretty close all the way to the end. That's day three of the tournament. You know, we're at our, our high levels here. Absolutely. And the structure of the tournament is such that coming into it, you still have a path to number one through this. So, but it is a slog if you're coming through game 14. Oh yeah. 
Ooh, uh, immediately, that is Cherry Kiss out in front for Arizona. We got Amanda Conda uh, on the jam line for Santa Cruz. Amanda Conda also out of the pack now as Cherry Kiss coming around for this first scoring pass. Breaks right on through. Really there great job is. there. T 22 Mercedes providing a path there for Cherry Kiss, getting those four points in quick succession. A chef's kiss for Cherry Kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Want to give a shout out to RollerCon. Hey, have you got your tickets yet? RollerCon July is, uh, is, uh, is about three months away. Come to RollerCon, do all the RollerCon things. You know what it is. I don't have to read the actual copy for RollerCon. Actually, I do, I mean, <laughs> but whatever. On the line now, we got Maddie Maskin's first time taking the start today up against West Coast Mafia. West Coast Mafia encountering a strong wall between Flower Power and McCoy, Ace Ventura. And West Coast Mafia inside, inside line, lead jammer. Maddie Mastic is coming back in close succession after a dodging a hit by Sturman. That two wall in the back for Arizona trying to hold. West Coast Mafia coming back first, hits Flower Power, calls it off. I think Maddie Mastic is no, not able to snag any points. And let's see how much West Coast got on this dam. Looking for the fingers from the jam ref, I believe that's two points, two points, ha 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 ha. So it is a two point differential contest. I'll tell you what, I love watching uh, West Coast Mafia skate. West Coast Mafia is a really amazing skater. So smooth. I love that, I love the persistence, I love the, um, you can always tell when she's warming up that she's like getting in the right headspace. Yeah. It's so cool to watch. Time out. Time out. Time, we got a timeout, <laughs> Santa Cruz. Timeout being taken. Johnny Pepper, our producer, handing me the sponsor packet, which I do have in front of me. <laughs> and now I've got an extra. Now you've got so, two. Yeah, that's great. Hey, want to give a shout out to Triple Eight, the certified sweat saver from Triple Eight. Top of the line, safety standards and unmatched fit options. Triple Eight Skatewear. Also want to give a shout out to 187 Killer Pads, often imitated, never duplicated. Stick with the best. Uh, 187 Killer Pads. Lastly, the Penalty Box sponsor for this game, Birdie's Diner and Donuts in Show Low, Arizona. Stop by Birdie's Cafe Donuts, Cafe and Donuts in Show Low. Come as you make your way to the White Mountains for great food, Western vibes, and the only fresh donuts in town. Back on the line now, we have Frida going up against a trying trying just finds an outside lane unopposed as that Arizona uh, uh, Arizona pack is shortened up trying <laughs> does this backwards apex jump tries to nail it you can't you can't you can't knock that hustle but gets by avoids a hit by skatey Katie star pass now from uh, Frida to Jess West, doing a little jump and gets through. Trying already on a scoring pass though. Dodges a hit on the inside. Chest to chest with Shore Man. And calls it off. Let's see what she got. Looks like that's two or three. Three points. Thank you for adjusting. I saw Carmen's, uh, Carmen Dragon's fingers correctly. Seven points, so seven points on the jam. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. I saw the three from that jam and failed to add the prior ones. If I had a dollar for every time I failed to add, yeah, that's, I would be I, a rich woman. I have a math degree, honestly, not well deserved. <laughs> that is Queen Litigious and Helen Naughty on the jam line. Helen Naughty breaking through right away. Plenty of time in this jam. We, looks like we we're looking to make a star pass back there for Santa Cruz. Having a little bit of a trouble in the back there. Oop, and Helen Naughty's already back through on the scoring pass. And there it is. That's those first four points of this jam to Arizona. Helen Naughty just finding those seams, avoiding those, those hits from uh, Flower Power in the front. Looks like we did have a successful star pass here to Harley Sin 
but uh, Arizona really shut it down and uh, are getting the, that pivot stuck right back where the jammer started. It looks like there's a mouth guard on the track. I think someone forgot to put their mouth guard in. More debris. Everyone's pointing to it. Illinois, Matt for gravy, pointing to no one wants to touch your nasty mouth guard that's on the track. <laughs> also, that's, you know, Yay technically. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Yay, coach. The coach grabbed it. Get your nasty Doing ass the mouth dirty guard. work. We got an official timeout. <laughs> is the is the cause of the timeout the nasty ass mouth mouth guard? It might be. We'll see. We're I about mean, to find out. We'll see if that's it. Hey, want to give a shout out to the nasty ass. Speaking of a nasty ass mouth guard, <laughs> oh my quad skate shop. <laughs> oh my quad skate shop is your only is your only skate shop in northern Arizona. We specialize in all things roller skates and accessories. OMQ is run by Holly Ween and Joya Destroyer of Northern Arizona Roller Derby. They have over 15 years of skating under their wheels. OMQ is female, Hispanic run, small business. We strive to provide our customers with one on one service. Follow us on IG or FB, which I assume means Instagram or Facebook. Instabook and Facegram. <laughs> it's the same company. Yeah. Follow us on. Live journal on the interwebs. Yeah, uh, we've got someone in the chat asking, "What's the review?" As of right now, it's just an official timeout. I don't know. It does look like um, the refs are having a little bit of a, a convo out there, but I do not think that it's for review purposes. But I am going to go ahead and guess that it's also not about the mouth guard. This seems like it's too involved to just be a mouth guard discussion. Right. Yeah. They're not. They're like, well. Is the when well, the mouth part was red, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was correct. They're looking to see if anyone's got a Lysol wipe. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody got a wipe? <laughs> Yesterday during one of the Rat City games, uh, the coach was wearing a lot of sequins, and they kept getting on the track, and we could not, for the life of us, find a broom, and uh, it turned into debris gate. It was maybe one of the most entertaining moments of the game. Yeah. Realistically, not. I mean, the, the the roller derby was more more entertaining, but totally. Hey, if you're here right now, make sure to stay around for a special halftime show in this game. It's a super secret. We can't tell you what it is, but stay around, stay around, stay around. Oh yes, it's going to be worth watching for sure. Yes, pointing to some teammates here that are holding up a sign that says "Make good choices." And I, ne I would never, I would never. <laughs> Same. So it looks like Halinati is in the box right now. I don't know if it's related to the mouth guard. Hello, I'm here. But we're still getting a discussion. Down is off. What? Yeah, if you're planning to use that uh, halftime to go like get a snack or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you use one of these official timeouts instead because it's going to be worth uh, sticking around and watching all the way through. Ooh, it looks like we are going to have a power start here for Santa Cruz. Uh, so possibly due to the mouth guard. Yeah. That's Maddie Masochist on the line, second jam for Maddie. And nice job here avoiding a hit. That's Lee Jammer for Maddie Masochist. We got just, just just one point standing between Santa Cruz and Arizona right now, so this power jam could be uh, pretty pivotal. Maddie finding some room on the outside. Collision in the back with Jem Jones. Penalty sends 38 on Arizona to the box as Helenati approaches the pack. That's Razor Hellcat is at the box. Now in the front, we got Skeety Katie up against Mercedes. Uh, another thing on the track, I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, that was a pivot. That was Skeety Katie's. And after a big fight with Mercedes, Maddie Masik is getting through, uh, lengthening that lead. Ooh, just Ooh. finds an open lane. Like a the, hot knife through butter. Yes or like a hot butter through a knife. 
And oh, another penalty. Looks like that's a forearms penalty to Helenati and Maddie Maskus deciding to call it off. Arizona just getting in intense penalty trouble so far this half. Uh, I'm counting here from, I spy my little eye, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight penalties for Arizona so far compared to only one, two for Santa Cruz. I see it, my eyes are that good. No, they're not. <laughs> I think it might actually, I think it might be 11 actually. Uh, 11 penalties? I think 11 penalties, and then, and then yeah, only two for Santa Cruz. Holy Santa Cruz is keeping it clean for sure. That's the one thing I can tell from this distance. On the line now, we got Zoe Trope going alone, and lights a little dip there under Jess West. Skating Katie back on the track, decides you're not goading me. Zoe Trope coming on the outside, dodges one, two, encounters Jess West and I'm a blow by ya. I'm a blow by ya, as I'm a does, knocks to the outside on the near straightaway, now holding. Uh, two nice strong, uh, nice strong tripods here, holding the pack in place. Yeah, I'm a blow by in the back around with Jess West and Zoe Trump getting around on one skate. Now it looks like there's been a star pass here to Skatey Katie, the captain. Dodges one, two, last line of defense, Ooh. flower power. Flower power goes down, gets a forearms penalty, and Zoe Trump calls it off. Huge jam there, last two between Maddie Masochist and oh, getting some feedback. Right now on the line. <laughs> Looks like that is <laughs> West Coast Mafia up against Tryon. West Coast almost getting out, getting sucked back there by 36 from Roni Danger from, and Tryon now, Lee Jammer for Santa Cruz, third in a row for Santa Cruz. Uh, destruction penalty sends a, I believe that's uh, Mercedes to the box. West Coast Mafia now through as Tryon through, gets through, lead jammer, and four points up. So Santa Cruz now pulling away, 20 ahead of Arizona, 44 to 24, a quarter of this game going on now. We had somebody in the chat saying, uh, come on, Helen Naughty, stop living up to your name. Got me feeling hella naughty. Getting sent to the penalty box for being naughty. Only fortunately. Looks like we're starting this next jam with one in the box for Arizona. That is Frida and Maddie Masochist jamming this jam. We got Maddie Masochist up here in the front already. Ooh, beautiful line work there, managing to stay inside. And picking up that lead jammer position. Freed is still struggling a little bit. Oop. And we got a we got a star pass. Mm. Star yeah. pass to Jess West. Oh, uh, really smart job, job there by Jess West. Uh, flower power having hips there, and then Noah Fantastica trying to draw back more. Uh, Harley Sin running to the box for an infraction. Pack really drawn out here. This Noah Fantastica flower power one two punch and a track cut gonna send Jess Wex to the box. So we got a power jam in Santa Cruz's favor. Maddie Kanasikis getting through four in the sky and calls it off. A O jam. Santa Cruz opts to go for the power start here against Arizona. Our penalty count right now is 14 to four, Arizona. Still a little, still looking a little messy out there. So trying along there, trying to have a hell of a game. Had a great game yesterday uh, against the two pair contests between Angel and 
uh, 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 Seattle, tried just butt dipping against everyone. Just, you know, you love to see it, folks. You absolutely love to see that. We love a spin. We, we really love a do. spin. We love a spin. Spins <laughs> are in fashion now. Yes. Des West now back in the action as your jammer of record trying. Oh, Ooh. huge hit there. Gets leveled there by Cuddy. Just West now through. Direct, uh, sorry, a uh, infraction sends um, Shady Katie to the box. And trying calling off before Just West can get any points on the board. Santa Cruz really lengthening this jam. I don't know. I want to. I want to guess, but I think, according to my announcer math, I believe this is a 35 to zero run for Santa Cruz in the past 10 or so minutes. So really great work by the team from the uh, by the ocean. We've got Cherry Kiss and Zoe Trope jamming. One in the box. Uh, Arizona's pivot is in the box. Matt and Zoe Trope coming up against the chest and the butt of I'm a Blobaya and Sherman. Oh, big hit there by I'm a Blobaya, but that's going to be a forearms. Zoe Trope resetting just for sure sake. Lead jam goes to Zoe Trope and Santa Cruz. Matt for Gravy goes to the box as Cherry Kiss wah, gets through. Half a lap behind Zoe. Pack rushes up to play some nice skater on skater offense. And calls it off. Three points on the board, extending that lead 63 to 24 Santa Cruz. That was some really solid uh, defense on, on both teams' side. I love it when the pack just doesn't move for like a good 30, 40 seconds. Absolutely, I love that. Getting some love in the chat. It says, love Gravy's offenses. Mama Power going, good old Gravy. Keep it going. Yeah, Harley, Flower, and Noah. So getting love from abroad. Abroad being California. <laughs> we got a Helen Audi and Amanda Conda on the jam line. Huge defense, big, big wall here, this impenetrable tripod here uh, by Arizona. May have spoke too soon though, because it just fell. Helen Nadi getting lead for Arizona. Anaconda still working around turn one as offense team play there by 4-4-2. That is Arizona's first uh, time securing that lead jammer position and six jams. Yeah, so really trying to take advantage of this. Helenati finds that inside chest to chest with Will Killa. And gets passed. A, now a track cut sending Anaconda to the box. It is now a power jam for Arizona. If I'm not mistaken, and Johnny, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the first power jam for Arizona of the contest. Johnny Pepper is nodding. And four in the sky for Helenati. Just escaping this, uh, cutting this drought now. Helenati, oh, takes a big hit. And gets up, not before, putting 10 on the board. So 34 points, breaking that drought for a few jams. Yeah, for Hel Arizona. Helen Naughty sort of bookended that, uh, was, the, was the last jammer to get lead for Arizona, and then the first one to get it back again after that uh, six, six lead streak for Santa Cruz. You know, sometimes you, you give it, and then sometimes you take, take it away. away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> West Coast Mafia on the line. Amanda As, kind of back on the track. Yes, Anaconda gets <laughs> knocked to the inside by Sherman. 
Uh, West Coast Mafia still trying to get out of the back. And then Anaconda getting lead out of the box for Santa Cruz. Ooh, but West Coast Mafia not too far behind. Pack rushes up following I'm a Blow by ya. And ooh, a nice little swipe there. Trying to, as Santa Cruz trying to goat Skatey Katie. Oof. It looked like an attempted whip for West Coast Mafia, which, you know, that would be that would have been cool yeah. if it worked. But you know, you love you love to actually see the attempt. You uh, get points for trying for sure. You, you yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I mean, points with me, not points on the yeah, on yeah. the board. No, fantastic. Uh, getting a penalty for a direction penalty. Trying to play some offense there for Anaconda. Just West, excuse me, West Coast Mafia trying to reset. Too many Wests. Uh, West Coast <laughs> Mafia now escapes a hit. Ooh, Oof. and a nice little double tap there from Matty Masochist, who is a jam return pivot. Uh, getting knocked to the outside. Mafia taking a little while to get through. Yeah, the action here on turn three is slow and grinding. It might, it, and it's one of those slow grinds where as a jammer, you think you have daylight, mm. but people keep on reforming ahead of you and you're like, this is very upsetting. Yeah. I, this, I'm very offended <laughs> that you would dare to reset in front of me. Anyway, the jam comes to its natural conclusion, 4-4 four, four jam. <laughs> Yeah, there were a couple there where I, I almost went ahead and said that they broke out, and then it was like a blocker just materialized out of nowhere. Even I didn't see it coming, and we have the best seat in the house. Absolutely. Looks like we got an official review requested by Arizona. So we'll wait and see what that's about. Want to give a shout out to our vendors in the recovery row, uh, Morgan Rojas Massage Therapy. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're good. You're good. Johnny Pepper, giving some great notes. I'm. I'm. I'm just chuffed to be here. I wasn't planning on announcing this weekend, and they were like, "Give this old bones a microphone." Uh, so, find a line massage and movement for your structure. Morgan is a massage therapist offering stretching massage for two dollars a minute. Add your name to the sign-up sheet for all three days of the tournament. Want to also give a shout out to our pivot sponsor today, Bar Smoothie. So, if you uh, want to get, uh, I'm assuming they're a smoothie company. They give, yeah, they're the ones outside, outside here. I don't know if they deliver. So, if you're at home, um, imagine it's from Bar Smoothie. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> yeah. Go in the kitchen, make it yourself, but then pretend. <laughs> then pretend. Pretend bar smoothie, maybe. Yeah. Senior Poo Poo saying in the chat, shout out to me for also being here in my home. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot, a lot of love uh, for both teams in the chat, which you love to see. Especially as an announcer, it, it keeps things interesting, <laughs> having uh, that many people, uh, lots of stuff to, to read, to comment on. So we do appreciate that. Yeah. Worth noting to the people in the house that like you can, you can get Twitch on your phone. You can participate in that chat whenever you want. That's right. You could be in the venue and still chatting. Technology is amazing. Looks like our head official, Smush, Smash, Swoosh. Arizona was requesting a penalty on the Santa Cruz jammer in the previous jam for skating out of bounds at the end of the jam. Upon review, the officials observed attempts at seating, so the no call will stand. Arizona does not retain the review for the half. All right. And you hear it. Thank you. Thank you, Smush. Thank you, our officiating crew for this game. All right, we're back to the action here on the line. It looks like that's Frida up against Tryon. And <laughs> Tryon just finding that inside line again. Really great, quick work. Oh. Tryon and succeeding. 
try, yeah, trying to succeed in. Nice quick star pass from Frida to Jess West. Trying though, gets through quick, looks back to the bench, calls it off. Nice four in the sky. Ooh, uh, Trying has had a 100% lead jam success rate on every uh, one of their uh, jams. <laughs> every time they're on the track, they've gotten the lead jammer. It's day three. I'm not as articulate as I was on day one. Hey, that you you have a good excuse. It's a long <laughs> 16 games is a lot to do it is. on one track. So, hey, we're we're all we're all trying our best. Zoe Trope on the line up against Cherry Kiss. Big drawn out pack almost from the start line to the pivot line. Both teams operating. And Zoe Tro pops up. Oh, and a nice little spin offense. That was hot by number 88. That was Miss Murda. Zoe Trope now rushing, taking advantage of a fast pack. It's knocked to the inside by Skady Katie. Three there by Santa Cruz. All right. So, really great job there. And no points on there for Arizona. So, Arizona able to utilize that pivot pass a little bit quicker than trying to stem the bleeding from this big gap that has been created in the first quarter of the game. On the line now, we got Anaconda up against West Coast Mafia. Nice offense on the inside by Mercedes, knocked inside by Jem Jones, and a a illegal procedure here by West Coast Mafia. Huh, I don't know what the action was that caused that. Anaconda now working. And, and Sturman very happy about the track cut just drawn on Anaconda. So this one's going for the full two. Suggestions in the cat by Killer V that there might have been a false start penalty on West Coast Mafia. This is our first uh, full two no lead jammer jam of the game. Yes. Speculation in chat. We'll speculate later. Both blockers now back in the action, still on initial. Anaconda and West Coast Mafia pack a bit of a morass here now on the far straightaway. Mafia trying to find some room on the inside and finds no play. Both jammers almost neck and neck here at a stationary roll on that straightaway. Direction penalty sends Lil Killa to the box. Anaconda taking the hat off. West Coast Mafia now. Big slot, literally 20 seconds left in the jam. Four points for up on the board for West Coast Mafia. Thought that was her initial, but it looked like it was a scoring pass. West Coast Mafia now coming through. A forearms penalty sending a Arizona blocker to the box. And West Coast Mafia through for four more. She makes a prayer sign towards her pack. Thank you, thank you for that offense. Eight in the sky. I guess there's not eight in the sky. Eight on the board for Arizona. That's in the sky. As yeah, the board itself is in the sky. It's so. true. It is. And points do come from heaven. <laughs> yes. In my honest opinion. Yeah. This whole thing is it's actually a religious observation. It's truly the theological Happy discussion. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Happy St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. Uh, that is Maddie Masochist and Helen Naughty. Maddie Masochist really ooh, getting close to that front of that pack, trying to break through, but uh, having a tough time up against um, Jess West and Skatey Katie. Oop, and but manages to break through pickup lead for Santa Cruz. Helen Naughty stuck out that back, takes a hat off. Ooh. Ooh. Maddie Masik is just, just dipping around the outside, almost without uh, notice from the pack. A 
again, a, a, a second time, just a really slicing through on the outside. Misconduct call to Will Killa. We'll see what for. And track cut. Sending someone to the box. So that's a little big 11 point jam for Santa Cruz, 85 to 48. Holy crap, there's only one minute left in this period. When did that happen? Which means we are just one minute away from that halftime show we're all looking forward to. I am completely looking forward to it. So it looks like. Yes. Yes, Johnny Pepper, the, the, the Johnny Pepper halftime show. So it looks like it was a track cut that sent, uh, sent Helenati to the box. I'm sorry, is that? Yeah, that was Nadi. And so trying out there for a lead. Maintaining that 100 port lead. 100 percent lead, excuse me. Not uh, trying. Dodges one, two, three hits. Gets through four points. Naughty. Now back in the action. Ryan, and a nice little pass there to Sherman. And Tryon calls it off. And uh, and uh, folks, that's uh, that's halftime. Woo! That was a super fast half. So at the half, Santa Cruz 93, Arizona the home team 48. Man, AJ, it's just, it's just going quick. What, what are you seeing in this game? It's going fast. Uh, we're actually seeing, like, so the, the projected ratio on this was a, a, a close to 2 to 1. It was 1.87 to 1. Okay. And uh, we're seeing these teams stay pretty close to uh, the math on this. Yeah. Um, uh, it's now 1.93 to 1 is the, is the ratio at the half. Mm. I've got a mathematician in the, in the crowd oh, <laughs> working for me. This is amazing. Yeah, I've got, I've got a plant in the audience. I know a guy. Exactly. Because it's certainly not me. Once again, cannot count. Yeah, I, I, I'm just, I'm assuming I can only do, you know, geometry blocks and very basic. That's a shape. <laughs> All right, so we are going to, are we going to pass it to you, Johnny? No, you can tell him to stick around, but we'll have it for you in just a minute. Stick around. We'll have it for you in a minute. We'll be back in, in, in a second here. Hey folks, did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. If your helmet size is a small, but your teammate's size is an extra large, wearing the same helmet shell doesn't just look kind of funny. The functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. The 888 certified sweat saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Try for yourself, we've got you.
It's, it's way too loud. Okay, did you turn it down a little bit? That's, that's better. Okay, hey, I'm Johnny Pepper. Welcome to Cactus Cup 24. We had some halftime entertainment lined up and it kind of fell through. So they said, Johnny, can you make something up? And I said, yes, I can make something up. So if I could have a couple of volunteers to come on out here in the middle with me, we're gonna have a dance off. So anybody is welcome, even kids. Come on out, come on out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to dance for you. <laughs> yeah, you wanna come dance? No? How about you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, bring your dad. <laughs> Yeah. Cakes, you want to come dance? Yes, we finally have a volunteer. All right, who wants to come up against this? <laughs> Well, I guess Bay Area Derby wins the jam off. Thanks a lot. We'll be back next halftime. I promise something better. <laughs> well, I may not be able to deliver on that, but we'll try something else. Hey folks, did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. If your helmet size is a small, but your teammate's size is an extra large, wearing the same helmet shell doesn't just look kind of funny. The functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. The 888 certified sweat saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection on impact. Try it for yourself, we've got you.
crowd. Hello for those of you tuning back in at home. This is day three, the final day of the 2024 Cactus Cup held in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. Again, I'm Kate Silver here with AJ. Oh, go ahead. Oh, we're just taking a little bit of a look at the math here. Um, so far, our, our highest jam so far has been an 11 point jam, uh, or I'm sorry, a 12 point jam by uh, Tryon. Or no, mm, we're, looking, we're looking at the math, we're not quite getting it right. Um, and, uh, oh, by Zoe Trope, I'm sorry. So Zoe Trope had our highest, our highest scoring jam. Uh, that was j jam two. And then uh, on Santa Cruz, our highest score overall has been Tryon with 33 points. And trying on the line now, out quick, maintaining that 100 port lead, 100% lead. Gonna get it right one of these times. Frida taking the hat off and wants to beat and does beat Harley Sin and, or sorry, Lil Killa in the front. Trying gets through for a quick four points. Shank on 8-7 in the chat asks, what is, what are the rest of the games today? So the winner of this game then goes on to play in Angel City, Angel City today, uh, and the game after at 2.30 Pacific time. Then the last game today, 5.30, the winner of that game plays Rose City at 5.30. And best of luck to him. <laughs> No one has been successful in that endeavor so far, but it's it's been a it's been a couple years, but you know you never know. Yeah. Zoe Trope out, lead jammer, but Cherry Kiss hot on her trail. The Santa Cruz pack rushing up. Zoe woo -hoo -hoo, just avoids it. Like, oh, nice little hop there by Cherry Kiss, but for not. Four points on the board by Santa Cruz and Zoe. Zoe Trope is a, a very, she's a, a very laterally dynamic skater. Yes. Just a lot of lefts, rights, lefts, rights, very quick. Yeah, her very level, agile. level changes are wild. Short track here, uh, and by short track, I mean just a diminished number of skaters. Two for Arizona, three for Santa Cruz. And that's West Coast Mafia up against Anaconda. Just, we've had this matchup a few times. Anaconda taking advantage of that shortened pack. Slithering through. Slithering if you will. through. Ha ha ha. West Coast Mafia seeing if she can off uh, these, these Santa Cruz skaters. Um, penalty issue to I'm a little Baya. And Anaconda threw for a scoring pass. West Coast Mafia is still trying to find some room. Looks like there's been a star pass. Dodges one hit there by a little killer. And total, I think that's four points on the jam for Santa Cruz. So already three jams, less than four, four or less on each of them. We are, that pushes Santa Cruz over into the three digit uh, territory. Filling that first bucket, as Johnny Pepper would say. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks, Miss Tiza in the chat, correcting me, Amanda Conda. Maddie Masochist on the line, up against Helenati. Maddie tries to find some room on that inside, gets recycled back, one to beat, just a test with Jess West. Back block against Maddie Masochist on Jess West, so this is gonna be a power jam for Helenati and Arizona All-Stars. Tough because Arizona is down to two blockers, so it's a power jam, but with a, not a ton of support out there. Yeah, absolutely. When you got those power jams, getting that extra support to play offense for you, critical and heartening. Get, I'm, a, I'm a blow by you back on the track there, though, to help out. Penalty sending Jess West to the box. Helenati tries to find some room on the inside. Oh, nice job by Ima. A tracker, though, sends Helenati. Uh, I think looks like uh, she thought she successfully got by Noah Fantastica and Harley. Sin was the only one to beat, but looks like not quite a blood war. So we got another two minute jam where both of these penalty, uh, players are going to the penalty box. Almost a, uh, an exact split 
one minute for one, one minute for the other. That is Jess West getting back on the track here. Getting goaded for just a, just a second as uh, Lightning the Queen gets into the box. Maddie going chest to chest here with Sherman as Jess West bridging out. Sherman just giving Maddie the business here. <laughs> You'd love to see a nice one-on-one. -on -one. Out of play called. Maddie gets us four points. Helen Nadi now takes the star off. And nice little fakie there. A star stash. Star stash. Jam comes to its natural conclusion. Three more points on the board. No points, I believe, on that jam for Arizona. So quite a slog for, for nothing for your troubles. Oh, a shout out to the amazing Zoe Trope from her favorite grandma and grandpa. That's adorable. On the line now, we have Tryon up against Frida. Tryon Woo! on the back foot gets behind Skatey Katie Lee Jam for Tryon. We love trying. when it's fancy. Whoa! Ooh. Try to do that backwards apex jump. Two fancy passes in a row. Yeah, I mean, you can do one apex jump, but the second one, really just tempting fate. Yeah. Yeah, trying. Oh, trying is doing this backwards, like, crossover thing in the corners that, like, I'm very impressed by. Yeah. And then terrified for all the <laughs> onslaught of juniors that can do the same thing. Mm. Yeah, we uh, on SoCal, we have a, a skater that does a, a very cool sort of like flippy, which just as a spectator, the flips are always the most fun to watch. Yeah. Try and get through another four. No progress here being made. Looks like there's been a star pass to Skeety Katie. Skeety Katie. Try and ducks in. Test a test there with 95. And calls it off. That was Lightning the Queen. So preventing at least getting past, but already four points on that. So 12 to the zip for Santa Cruz. We got Niclara Miranda in the chat saying, Trine is my new favorite skater. I want to know who Trine bumped out. Who's your old favorite skater? Oh, Giggy Pup in the chat goes, let's go SCRD. Is my mom playing queen playing? I'm, that sounds like a kid using the phone, so I'm into it. <laughs> I believe that the, the mom in question there is Queen Litigious. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I love it. Got Cherry Kiss and Zoe Trope jamming here. Zoe Trope, again with that, the, the back and forth juke in it, and it works every single time. Out of the pack, in the lead, but Cherry Kiss also almost successful at breaking out of the pack, but gets recycled to the back here as Zoe Trope comes back around slides on through like it's like it's nothing. Oop, I take it back. Does not slide through like it's nothing. <laughs> Gets bumped out in the end. Sent all the way to the back by Emma Blobaya. And start, ooh, start pass over to the shirt man. Zoe looking towards the bench. Tells her to call it off to eat some time. Oh yeah, Giggy Pop says my mom is being litigious. That's amazing. I love that. We'd love to see these family shout outs in the chat. I uh, want to give a shout out to Zico, one of our sponsors. Hydrate your effort, thirst for life. It's simple. If it requires any effort, Zico helps you hydrate for it. And Chrissy Crash. Crash Course helps busy roller derby athletes increase strength, conquer self-doubt, create habits of high performers to become all-stars and MVPs on the track and in life. On the line, we got West Coast Mafia against Amanda Conda. Mafia, ooh, nice little hop on the outside, but that's gonna be called on a forearms penalty. Ooh, yeah, can't use your handsies there. So, Amanda Conda getting lead jammer. Decides to call it off immediately and give a power start to someone else. 
at the half, we, we were tracking pretty close to the projected uh, score ratio. Uh, Santa Cruz has pulled out of that now at this point. We we're looking at uh, 2.6. Six 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 seven. You know the yes. two thirds situation yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to one here. So uh, and again, uh, the projected was one point eight seven to one. So Santa Cruz is overperforming. Yeah, they're coming back. I mean, really preparing for to make a showing after making a great showing last year, coming in second place, trying up and evade two hits by Ima and, and Sherman on this power start. Getting a go in the back, and sure, man, no fantastic at playing offense in the front. Does a little B dip, and Ima says, No, ma'am, you're not getting through. West Coast Mafia back in the mix now from the box. And gets through after a bit of a morass in turn one. Tryon comes through, another scoring pass. Calls it off, smiling all the way, smiling, trying, trying, smiling. Sidvi in the chat, say, chat saying, "OMG, I'm a, is my hero. A good, a good choice, heroes wise, I would say. I would say so. I would like Ima to run a RollerCon workshop on how to run a tournament. Mm. Just putting this in the ether." <laughs> We've got, oh, we've got a Manicana and Frida on the jam line here. Manicana Man coming back in after only one jam of rest. So really nice, like, giving her the energy to do, to do that. Yeah, you can't tell. She doesn't seem fatigued at all, especially struggling up against this uh, solid Arizona tripod here. Getting a little bit of an assist. Ooh, uh, but uh, not making it all the way through. This is Cess Lee, though. Oh. Frida not finding much purchase here and in this game, too. Had a great game against Rose City yesterday. Mm. Looks like this has been a star pass here, though, to Jess West. Getting dragged back long, long ways by Lil Killa. And Martinez anchoring that tripod. Meanwhile, now Conda deciding to call it off. Two points, or sorry, I, I misread the Jam Ref's fingers. We got the pack up there on the Bar Smoothie pivot line. Once again, our pivot sp sponsor, Bar Smoothie. I'm getting a little hungry. I'll probably get a Bar Smoothie in between these games. I will also get a Bar Smoothie in between the game. Oh! Ooh. Mark, uh, Maddie Massive is coming in hot, hitting in the back of Sherman. Cherry Kiss, Jamie Paul, Arizona. Cherry Kiss trying to get dipped to the inside. Mercedes coming in from the box, Ooh. lost the hat. And Matty Masochist getting lead jammer after a slog. Star pass down here to Sherman. Matty Masochist weaving through the pack. Hits Mercedes, no pack called. Dips in, gets two more points. I find it delightful when Shoreman plays pivot and takes the star because I all I can picture is that being the star pass. I'm like, hey, can you take this? Oh, sure, man. Sure, man. Yeah, sure. For sure, man. Why not? I'll do it. May it's, as well. It's my name. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, Killer V in the chat says, ha ha, seeing someone say they grew up watching people my age play makes me cry a little inside. V, I feel you, I feel you. But V, you also have been playing for like 20 years, so you didn't have to say that. All right, trying try. out of the pack immediately, picking up that, that lead jam uh, position. But uh, West Coast Mafia, mm, about a half a track, quarter track behind. 
calls it off. I'm not. It got a little messy right at the end there. It's a little oh, messy. Two points for Santa Cruz. Want to give a shout out to another one of our sponsors today in the venue, Rattlesnake Romance Tattoo. They are located in Phoenix, Arizona. Artists, Maca uh, sorry, I'm going to mispronounce this. McCaslin, Rose, and Luke Goodell will be in Clash Tattoos on location all weekend. We just got uh, a little bit of a stats update from uh, Johnny Pepper that uh, Santa Cruz has successfully kept Arizona scoreless for the last 10 jams in a row. Oof. That is rough. Rough. Helenati up against Zoe Trope. I can tell because I can see the braids. And Zoe out first. Lead jammer. Penalty sends Cherry Kiss, who's on blocking duty to the box. Zoe already around for a scoring pass on the back of Ima and Getting Miss Murda. A little bit of an assist there from Mag Gravy. Yeah. A high block. Oh, I want to say that attempted star pass by Hella Naughty it gets that high block call. Oh, one of the worst high block calls when you're trying to get out of there. And a call there by Zoe Sharp going to opt to freeze that jammer in the box once again. That penalty is uh, Helenati's sixth penalty, so um, getting cutting it a little close here. Uh, seven penalties is a foul out, so I imagine we're probably going to see Helenati playing it a little bit safer from this point forward with 14 minutes left in the game. Their high hand in this power start to try and definitely was, has been the most successful jammer of record for Santa Cruz. Gets by, does that nice little backwards crossover on the outside line, which jammers take note. That's a nice thing to practice at home. Trying back in the mix as Santa Cruz rushes the pack forward. Looks towards the outside line, tries to get around. Great defense having. Now, Skatey Katie. And number 95, that's Lightning the Queen, keeping trying in, probably slowing her down more than a lot of the work that she's seen, but has come around already. Four more high block assess to triple six, that's Martinez. Star pass down to Skatey Katie. One last offensive push, calls it off. No more points on the jam for trying, but huge jam there. 8 0, 152 to 48. 12 and a half points remaining in the game. Starting this jam with one in the box for Santa Cruz. That is Maddie Masochist and Frida jamming this jam. A little bit of a fracas up here. Frida up here in the front, really struggling to get by, getting a little bit of an assist uh, from Mercedes. Successfully and picking up lead jammer for the first time in a, in a little bit for Arizona. Maddie Masochist. Uh, oh, we had a star pass. Um, oh, a star pass and then an immediate penalty. That's always the worst. That hurts. Yeah, so that was Cyanide Siren who had the pivot on and got a high block issue there. Uh, we were just talking about how successful Tryon has been. Tryon's uh, point total for the game is now 59. So that's uh, a little over a third of those points, I think. I'm yeah, pretty sure. That's really incredible. <laughs> that's the math, right? A third of Santa, Santa Cruz's points yeah. uh, from Tryon there. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. Oop, looks like we got an official review being requested by 
Santa Cruz. Yes. 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 We're going to take some time. Another shout out to another uh, vendor in venue. Essential IV Drip Arizona. Gear up for peak performance with Essential IV Drip as the official hydration and wellness par partner of this three-day tournament. We're here to keep you rolling at your best. Our IV therapies, IV hydration therapies are expertly crafted and, re and replenish electrolytes. Um, also want to give a shout out to the uh, Jammer Line sponsor, Canyon Building and Design. For over 25 years, Canyon Building and Design has been a trusted leader in the construction industry, delivering unparalleled expertise and excellence across various sectors. From luxury hospitality spaces to innovative automotive facilities, our commitment to quality and client satisfaction remains unwavering, making us the premier choice for top tier construction and residential construction projects. And then lastly, I want to give a shout out to Black Girl Skate, one of our media sponsors. They have a really great ad on the stream if you haven't seen it. Lots of familiar faces in there, uh, including Punky Pie and other folks. So if you're in the chat right now, hey, what you having for breakfast? Or brunch, I guess on the East Coast, it's like three o'clock. What are you having for dinner? Yeah, we also want to give a shout out to uh, Trushux, Trush, Trush, Trushux or Trush UK. Uh, who is watching their very first uh, roller derby game. Hey. Says, it looks like a lot of fun. It is. Amazing. Would like to confirm that, uh, yes, lots of fun. Very good time. We encourage you to, to keep watching, become a full-time fan. So let's see, lots of avocado in the chat. Remy, oh, baby Remy, who is Jordan, Aris Jordan's baby, eating turkey and avocado. Corned beef hash, of course, because St. Patty's Day. Raisin Bran, making me hungry. Why did I ask for this? Sour Santa Cruz was requesting the high block call on their jammer be overturned. Upon review, the high block call will stand. Santa Cruz does not retain their official review. Thank you so much, Smush, for that clarification. Amazing. We got to thank you, announcers, but I. We were just talking about breakfast, so it's unclear what the thank you's for. Yeah, Gay, you can't thank us. Gay of Reckoning over there from Denver. You can't thank us for anything here. <laughs> we're just we're just we're just making words yeah. with our mouth holes. Mm -hmm. I'm truly one of the only things I'm good for, to be honest. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> and ooh <laughs> hot cherry kiss. Just with a textbook little hop there. Just love to see it. You really try not to have like a, a like an, a, a crowd like response directly into the mic. Uh, no, do it. It's yeah. great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but that's, that's how you know it's something really good if uh, if you get the unfiltered. Ooh. Uh, Terry Kiss now breaking that lead drought from Arizona. And Siren now coming back from the box as the jammer of record. Looks like um, Trine is actually in there as Pivot. Cherry Kiss at the back of that pack. And Siren getting out on her initial. Cherry Kiss opts to call it off. Four points on the board. First points in quite some time. I'm trying to gauge since when <laughs> from Johnny's producing sheet. Oh, holy geez. So Johnny says they went 13 jams without scoring. So cutting out that near half. And what did, how many jams are this? Yeah, they haven't scored since jam two of this half.
Oh, we are on a timeout. <laughs> we, were, we were too busy checking the stats. We didn't really notice until the timeout was over. Right. Um, someone in the chat said that any time an official review, any time uh, the call stands, they imagine the officials going, I said what I said. Did I stutter? No. <laughs> I said what I said. It very much is I said, I, I said what I said. Yeah. I think that it's, you know, you really got to, um, you have to make it compelling. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. why, it's why um, former officials make some of the best coaches. Yes. Because they're like, I know what you didn't see. Probably former officials and also like lawyers. Yeah, lawyers that have learned the games of roller derby. Yeah. The rules of roller derby. That is Zoe Trope and West Coast Mafia on the jam line. Ooh, Ooh West nice. Coast Mafia. Ooh, Ooh. managing a slide right on through there. Zoe Trope almost managing to make it through on the inside, but getting bumped out as West Coast Mafia comes around for her initial scoring pass. Zoe Trope now out of the pack. And West Coast Mafia calls it off. All right, two in a row there for the home team. Trying to claw their way back in the last third, last, excuse me, last third of this half. That's th uh, three in a row, actually, for Arizona. Oh, nice. Yeah, they had their jams one through 13 were the no-scoring ones, and now ah. we've had the three. We've got, had four on each for these last three. Right, right. Incredible. So online now, we've got Amanda Conda up against Frida. Amanda Conda getting knocked there to the outside by 95 and passes Katie Katie. But still, there it is. Frida getting out, not too far behind her. We got a fast pack. And decides to call it off. I think the first no score jam we've had in quite a while. I would agree with that. Oh no, <laughs> maybe only in a couple. Jam eight. Jam eight. So eight jams ago. Yeah, eight jams ago. Uh, jam, jam 13 was also a no score. Listen, I can admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> On the line, we got Maddie Maskis up against. Jess West, actually first time we've seen Jess West start with the star. Maddie gets out for lead jam. Jess West tries to find some room, big pile up there on the outside, right before coming out. Maddie comes up, this is two wall. No, out of play getting called. Maddie's around for four. Big draw back there by Noah Fantastica on Jess West. Noah also in a star pass here to, looks like that's Sherman again. Yes. Forearm's going to send Noah Fantastic to the box. The box right there. Just a huge pile up here as these tri uh, tripods are kind of back to back. Seen Ima Bobaya coming in trying to uh, help out with some offense in the front, but that Santa Cruz tripod was just too strong. Maddie's not feeling it, calls it off. Eight points there for Santa Cruz, bringing the score to 160 60. A nice round, even 100 point differential. Even I can do that math. <laughs> Santa Cruz starting down one. It gives a fresh pair of legs here to try and and cherry kiss. Nice little knockout here. Try and get drugged back. Ooh, try and somehow pops out. <laughs> Thinks she gets a penalty, but she's like, no, I got lead. Cherry kiss now coming around the outside. Both these jammers pretty similar skating stride and style. Try and hits the back of a pack. Calls it off. One point for, for troubles there. <laughs> I 
Back at the action now. We've got West Coast Mafia up against Zoe Trope. Sorry, we're playing with some feedback here. So we're taking a break here, calling off this jam early. Thank you to our medics for coming here, making sure we're well supported. We're also trying to diagnose some of these microphone issues, getting some interference. like this is a little official timeout just making sure everything's on the up and up folks are feeling good feeling nice feeling good feeling great feeling good how are you Rita on the line up against and man the conda man the conda gets through a cut though sending Frida to the box so this is going to be a power jam for Santa Cruz. That um, point ratio has stayed pretty much exactly the same uh, for the past, for the, the, the most of this half. We're still at that 2.6 to 1. But uh, a power jam for Santa Cruz is certainly one of the, the things that could make a big difference there. Amanda Kana gets three points, decides to call it off. About four minutes left in the half. Trying to start this jam alone, unopposed. Santa Cruz gonna rush it up, tries to find some room in the middle, finds that room on the inside. High block now being issued to the pivot, Lightning Queen. Free to back in the action as a jammer record. Multiplayer for Arizona sending them to the box. Yes, Mercedes. Ooh, a little nice little dance on the inside by Tryon. And Tryon working that middle again. Only has three points on that pass. No pass, no penalty. Frida now getting through after a massive slog. Try and butt scoots to the out, gets knocked to the inside, calls it off, gets three more points for her trouble. 14 on the jam, 178 to 60, two and a half left in the contest. Back in the action, Cherry Kiss 
up against Zoe Trope. Forearms sends Flower Power to the box. And Cherry Kiss out first, lead jammer for Arizona. A little bit of jammer on jammer. In the turn, both of these skaters rushing up. Arizona keeping this jam fast and maybe not to their favor. Zoe Trope approaches and as she does, Cherry Kiss calling it off. Got West Coast Mafia now up against Amanda Conda. West Coast Mafia avoids a hit. Wants to beat in the front. That's five. Our lead jammer for West Coast Mafia. Ooh. I recognize that that was just uh, her getting past her own team, but still, it was a nice little hop, skip, jump. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. West Coast trying to find some moves, trying to keep on moving. Amanda Conda, meanwhile, is taking off the star. That's Mercedes putting in the work up there in the front, playing some O to great effect as uh, West Coast Mafia makes it on through. West Coast Mafia now a pass to Flower Power. First time we've seen her taking a pass in this game. Flower used to be a, a jammer, does this amazing work as a pivot. Big morass up on turn three as the jam clock narrows down and the period clock is out now. West Coast now flowers through. West Coast gets through, calls it off. Four points up in the sky, and a total eight points to cap the game. So, for that's 178, Santa Cruz 68, our unofficial final. Wait for those jam refs to confirm. Then And that's it, folks. That is your end of game official score. So Santa Cruz progressing to play Angel City once again, a repeat of game. Let me see, game, ooh, game eight yesterday. So these two will meet again. Again, last time they met, Angel beat them 179, 250. Let's see if they can narrow that score and get past it. The winner of that game will go on to play Rose City. Uh, team Spirit for, I, for both of them. Help me out. I have no Stick around. We're going to announce MVPs in one second.
All right. So, announcing on the feed our, our MVP, our MVT blocker for Santa Cruz going to Lil Killa, our MVP jammer to Tryon, and our Spirit Award to Amanda Conda. For Arizona, our MVP jammer going to Cherry Kiss. MVP blocker, Sherman, in the Spirit Award to Jess West. All right, y'all, so stick around. You've got some time to it. Stick around. Come back in two hours. We'll be here for the next contest, Angel versus Santa Cruz. I've been Kate Silver, here for Kate Silver, AJ, and Johnny Pepper. We'll see you in the stars.